Hey, how's it going YouTube? Jacob here back for the J2H channel and we're back for another new old school type video here. I just got done unboxing, I might as well show it off, this beauty, link in the description for that, or actually link in the end cap of this video, something to that effect. Um, so yeah, let's check out the, the counterpart, actually the original, the innovator. Um, I've had this for a while, this one's been out for a minute, but it never hurts to unbox it and, you know, you never know. Sometimes certain people don't like certain unboxing videos. Anyway, let's check out The Office, the complete series. Now, during my Parks and Rec set, I couldn't, uh, there were some names I couldn't remember and I had to kind of pause and read the box to kind of figure it out because I'm better with actor names. So let's just, let's just try Dry Run, see if I can remember all the names. So you've got Daryl, I want to say Williams, that's probably not right. Philbin? No, that's really not right. Daryl, Jim, Andy Bernard, Jim Halpert, Michael Scott, Dwight Schrute, Pam Halpert, um, you got Meredith, Toby, Oscar, Stanley, Robert California, good old Kevin, you got Ryan, he's a scumbag, um, Mindy, Kelly, my real name's Mindy, um, Jan, Angela, Creed, Phyllis, and Aaron, also Kelly. Um, so yeah, let's check out, let's do all the sides first. So you have this nice, white, simple, The Office, the complete series. Really enjoy that. Then you have the front hair with your, probably your main cast for the most part. Uh, yeah, definitely the main cast. Maybe not Daryl in some of the first seasons. Um, and then you have this bottom. So this is a bigger set. This is a nine season. It's several discs. I couldn't tell you how many. But let's check out some of the specs here. 75 hours and 7 minutes. So there is the synopsis there. If you don't know what The Office is about, I mean, they're, they're, they're in and out. I, don't know, I did that whole Parks and Rec video. I didn't even tell you what it's about. By the time you look out an unboxing video for a complete series, you hopefully you know what the show is about. So they have bonus features, hours of deleted scenes, extended episodes, episode commentaries, blooper reels, The Office webisodes, fake PSAs, Steve on Steve, Rabies, The More You Know, The Office convention writer's block, Michael Scott's Dunder Mifflin ad, The Office promos, Academy of Television Arts and Science presents The Office, Dry Shoot music video, Welcome to Saber company video, or Sabre, original digital short uncensored version, ooh, original cast audio tape, audition tapes, uh, finale table reads and cast for roles and much, much more. Um, I've had the original DVDs of this, I've had the complete series, um, you know, complete series DVD set that look like this, there will be a link right here for that video if you're interested in the DVD set. So I've owned these a lot, and the extras on these sets have always been fantastic. You lose some a little, lose some a little, there you go, in season 8 of the show. Uh, in the later seasons, physical media wasn't as popular, you know, sales were probably down. But season 9 picks a little bit back up. But, all in all, the set has a ton, a ton of bonus features. Extended scenes, which you're now seeing on stuff like Peacock, Peacock's pimping out the office. Which they should, it's a very popular show. It's crazy. Um, I caught this show, when I initially watched the show, it was right in season 9. So I missed the first 8 seasons and I caught season 9 in this broadcast. And then, um, like 5-10 years later, it just started shooting up in popularity. It was crazy. You know, different generations like different things and this show is just a hit. It's a hit again, which is insane. So, and it's a great show. So there's all four. So you have the, probably the tertiary cast, the secondary cast, the primary cast. Again, the big top, show to the bottom. So here's the spines which is the entire, these are what the spines look like for the, the original DVD releases, and the, um, so there's been, f I guess, three types. There was the original huge, thick, plastic ones, which I owned. There was the singular, like this, which uses a lot of plastic when they do all nine seasons in their own case, which, again, this is the one that was in the corner. And then they have a, a modular, uh, two-piece, multiple discs in a, in a tray set, so... They've, they, it's def, they've, um, they've gotten their money's worth out of the office. It's a very popular show, especially, I mean, apparently with physical media. So, now that we're done talking, let's, let's show off the individual seasons. So, season one, which is by far the, more, the most bizarre. It's six episodes, I believe, six or eight. And it, it's bizarre. It's a lot like the, apparently, I haven't watched it. It's apparently a lot like the, um, the, um... British version, which is almost, I guess the episode's almost word for word, so I'll have to take the word I have, hot word, I'll have to uh, take the word, I, I have no idea, so you got some deleted scenes and episode commentaries, there you go, the back, before Michael Scott's, uh, Steve Carell's, uh, like, hair plugs or whatever he did, 
So season one is, let's see if I was right, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So bonus features, deleted scenes, auto commentaries. So season one, now I don't think this season, this series might be an MOD. I know for a fact the Parks and Rec was, but this may also be an MOD. So there's um, it's a lot of the same artwork, which is fine. When you're upgrading, that's really all you want is to upgrade your quality. I don't need a new set, I need HD quality. So you got your season one disc, which the the DVD version of the set was always a, a one season, or a one disc season. But it's cool because it was a black case with no back artwork. So actually you're getting more artwork, which is pretty cool. And a neat, uh, neat little fact there. So season one, we got Michael Scott. Season two, probably my favorite season of the show, season two. Not only did it hit its stride, some of the best moments and episodes are in season two. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you agree especially watching it back. I think I've watched the show now three times through. When I was working from home, um, I watched this show and I watched 98% of Parks and Rec um, last year during uh, during COVID. So you got all your discs here. Again, this is a lot of the same artwork. Disc one, it's actually the exact same artwork as season one, season two, disc one, season two, disc two, season two, disc three, season two, disc four. I believe season two is also like with a lot of shows, for season two is typically, I'll say typically, in my experience, the longest season. Um, so there you got all your bonus features there. And I know there was one, there was one episode people were curious about. I can't remember what episode because of some, um, some censoring and some issues uh, where I think Dwight does blackface and I believe that episode is in here in its entirety but don't quote me on that um, you're gonna have from you if, if you know the name of the episode peek to see if it's in here because I actually can't remember season three here but I remember when this was getting released the forums were curious about if they'd censor that episode or that even scene and I know they have on streaming services but I don't believe they did on the physical media which is why you want physical media ton of bonus features here for season three which again is it's all great season eight starts to trail off uh and a season seven is you know not favored upon so there you have season three disc one season three disc two season three disc three and season three disc four and there's your bonus features again. Blooper reel. I've watched multiple times the blooper reels. I won't even be watching the show and I'll fire up the blooper reel sometimes because they're just hilarious. The cat, the cat, you can tell the cast genuinely gets along. Now season four is a, is a wacky season simply because of the writer's strike. So there is super long, there's like six or seven extended episodes, meaning they are like, 42 to 45 minutes long some of them are 35 minutes long and I believe it's because of the writer's strike and the, the way they were filmed something that effect and you'll see what I mean here so if you look a lot of them have oh uh, they don't have the asterisks but like see how there's four episodes per this disc that's because two of them at least two of them are are probably double length episodes season four disc one season four disc two season four disc three Season four, disc four. Did I stutter? Blooper reel. Bunch of, did I stutter? It's a great episode. Um, and I believe now we're at the point where season four was the the last of the seasons not to be released initially on Blu-ray. So I think I'm I'm ninety percent sure that starting with season five, these have all been so these have all been available on Blu-ray uh, since their initial release. Whereas seasons one through four are brand new and for the most part exclusive to the set. I think now, by the time this video uploads, you can buy them separately because they're MOD. But the only way to get these for a minute was the set. So you have season five. I could be wrong. Season five or season six. Again, a ton of. Here's your, you're starting to get your web, webisodes. Just a ton of extra features, bonus features. And one of these. I love this set. I love this show. So, and also, I don't know if I've been saying it, but there's bonus features on every disc. Um, so, even though they re-released these, I believe they're new discs, or at least disc artwork, because they're all they're all pretty much unison. So you have Season 5, Disc 1, Season 5, Disc 2, Season 5, Disc 3, Season 5, Disc 4, and I think I've said I believe enough for the day. 
Um, gag scenes, lead scenes, 100 episodes, 100 moments, promos, webisodes. It must be season six. Okay, so season five. Let's go to season six. The last full season with Mr. Steve Carell, a.k.a. Michael Scott there. There's your definitely... Th so this is what I would describe as the main cast. It really is. The original... Includes original digital sort uncensored version. So that's what the that's what I said ooh about on the back. I don't know if I've seen that. It may be exclusive to the set, though I do have the separate DVD release of like I think it's called like Office Shorts or Office Bites or something to that effect. <clears throat> Secret Santa. Producers Extended Cut. That's a fun episode. So yeah, again, all the same discs. Season six season six, disc one. Season six, six, disc two. Season six, disc three. Season six, disc four. Okay, so this is the, this is what I want to talk about. This is why I've been spying on these. This has, up until recently, when they re-released all of the Parks and Recs on Blu-ray, this had the first, and for a while only, Parks and Rec episodes in HD on physical media. So as a bonus di episode on disc four of season six, you get the hunting trip episode of, oh, I've, I've called it Animal Control in the other video. It's the hunting trip episode of The Office. Uh, or, no, on The Office. It's the hunting trip episode of Parks and Rec, which is it's a very funny episode, and it was meant to, you know, increase the popularity of Parks and Rec, which I believe it worked, but it was uh, it was here first. You, had, you have a free episode of Parks and Rec on Disc 4, Season 6 of The Office, in your complete series. And I don't even think that's listed on any of the boxes, because it was just... It was on the initial DVD release, and they just kept getting upgraded, and voila. So, season seven of The Office. Woof, Michael Scott. Woof is the, Michael Scott is an all-time great TV character, have to agree. Bonus features. Threat Level Midnight, the movie. Fantastic. As you watch this, if you haven't seen that, that's, that's a good bonus. I don't know if I've even checked that out yet, so... Season 7, Disc 1, Season 7, Disc 2, Season 7, Disc 3, Season 7, Disc 4, and then with some bonus features all over the place. Goodbye, Michael. So the last three episodes are a little uh, different, I'll say that. They're not well liked on the websites, I'll tell you that, the forums, the TV Time app, um, link in the description. Season 8, uh, my least favorite season by far. Not a fantastic season, though I know it's, it's got some love. Some people enjoy it. So, season 8, disc 1, disc 2, 3, 4, and 5. Apparently this one needed 5 discs. That's, that's, I didn't know that. So there must be a ton of extras, a ton of episodes. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff on these discs. So there's some more... Andy, Andy Angry. Those extended cuts of episodes, that's probably why they just pushed them, pushed them onto a fifth disc. So I guess season eight is the biggest, the biggest of the seasons of this set. And finally, season nine, a favorite of mine, but probably not the greatest season. Um, season nine, the farewell season. So again, a ton of bonus features. This one might have five discs as well. Um, so, season, uh, disc one. So, all the same discs. I can confirm that now because I don't know that I've opened these all before. Um, disc one, two, three, and four. Okay, so no, four discs. So, you got the final three episodes, which are, I think they're all, I think from here on, they're they're uh, extended longer episodes with, see, with the finale being the longest. You have the deleted scenes, blooper reel, a bunch of stuff. Auto tune Andy casting behind the scenes, just so much good stuff. So much, such a good show. I love this show. I, it gets a lot of flack. It, it's popular now, but it used to get so much flack because people didn't uh, either didn't like the humor, didn't understand the humor, didn't care. I mean, how you know, pick a reason. People just sometimes it's not it's not popular in many circles. So, but I love it. Apparently, it has a fan base because it got a Blu-ray release significantly um, later after the uh, the original release so pretty cool to see um make sure you guys are supporting physical media if you enjoy um 
seasons of The Office, shows like The Office, if you enjoy upgrades of already released seasons from DVD to HD, make sure you guys are supporting physical media and and, and uh, buy these sets. I mean, I, mean I, I buy these sets because even though I have access to Peacock, I still love these sets. I want to have these in their entirety. I want to support physical media. And I want other shows on fantastic HD seasons like this. So that's uh, that's my soapbox for the day. I got I to gotta go on that every time because I want seasons up. A lot of mine have come to fruition. I really enjoy the King of Queens set, um, Parson Rec, the, um, I say The Office, uh, 30 Rounds, another one, Big Bang Theory, Community. There's just a bunch of shows that need, I know... The last DVD set I would love to upgrade would be Everybody Loves Raymond, but that's HBO, so I don't, really don't see that getting um, a full Blu-ray release, though I'll, I'll never say never, especially when they keep putting stuff out like this. So. so there you go, guys. That is The Office, the complete nine seasons, the complete series. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all the links in the descriptions. Um, I'm doing three of these unboxing-type videos, so you got Parks and Rec, uh, and The Office on Blu-ray and Modern Family, the complete series on DVD. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite, um, what's your favorite, who's your favorite character? What's your favorite episode, favorite moment? I'd love to talk The Office again. If I'm doing unboxings of these specific shows, I love these. I have so much love for this. I'd love to talk The Office with you to no end. So let me know. Hit me up in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my links in the description, including a link to my podcast I host Mr. Crazy Joe on Fridays, drops on Fridays. Other links in the description, my TV time and letterbox, where I interview all the TV shows and movies I watch, and Twitter and Instagram, eBay, Blu-ray.com, all sorts of stuff you can keep uh, keep updated on the happening. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and smash that notification bell. And also check out this additional video that you may or may not enjoy. This additional playlist that you'll probably enjoy. It contains this video. And also go ahead and uh, show that subscribe button some love. I would highly appreciate it.